Hey guys, if you're just joining us today, it's um, Lady Katie from Lady Katie's Kingdom. Um, I haven't been on for a while. Every time I post lately, I've been saying that. But yes, it's been pretty crazy around here. Um, I'm kind of going to touch on a few things today, and then I'm going to show you guys a haul that I did from the Dollar Tree store. Um, the Dollar Tree store? The Dollar Tree. Anyway and um, some crafts that I'm doing with that stuff and holiday things that I got that were, again, only a dollar. So that's pretty cool. Um, so lately, mom life, the struggle has been real. <laughs> um, I'm drinking another cup of coffee today. Um, this is my second cup. Um, if you guys have been following at all, John David had clubbed feet when he was born, so we've been going through that process of correcting it. Since I got talked to you guys last, he's able to have his braces on only at night or 12 hours at a time, and he can have them off the, the other 12 hours. So we've been doing like when, like from like 8 to 8, like when he sleeps, so he doesn't sleep. Um, he hates his braces. Now that he knows he can have them off, he's like moving his feet like crazy and so happy to have them off and things like that. So I don't sleep. He doesn't sleep. I don't sleep. The two-year-old gets up a couple times. Last night, I shut my TV off at 10.30 and at 10.33, he was awake. And it's more like... He just wakes up and then goes back to sleep once I put the pacifier back in. But as soon as the pacifier comes out, it's like it distracts him from the fact that he can't move his legs as well. And then the two-year-old had some nightmares. And then he climbed into bed with me. And then before he knew it, my husband was home and I hadn't slept like at all. So that is why we're having a second cup of coffee, to say the least. And we'll probably have more later. Um, yeah, so it is December now. Um, we had a good Thanksgiving. Um, we had a ton of people at my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. And um, it was it was great, but it was a lot of people. Well, that's one of my favorite holidays because you don't have to bring any gifts. You just make food. Everyone eats. They socialize. Um, one of my favorites. And it's not stressful for me, at least. I haven't hosted for a while, but sometimes we host my in-laws the night before or something. We went to my in-laws the weekend after. Um, so yeah, it's just been going on with momhood, with the boys. I've been working more, and Ross works that night, and he just came off. Like, he works three days, has one night off, and then, or three nights, works three nights, has one night off, and then works three nights again. So they switch his shifts. So it's been a lot. Like, tonight's his last night out of the six nights working. So thank goodness. And then, so today's Wednesday. So Thursday when he wakes up, we're actually going to have like a date, day slash night where um, we're going to finish Christmas shopping. My mom's going to take the boys. So that'll be really nice as well. I've missed him. He's so helpful. My husband's great. But um, when he's not here, he can't be helpful <laughs> except for he's making money for us. So anyway, I'm going to stop complaining now. Um, let's see. Me, I've been doing really well working out still and lifting and cardio. I've been focusing more on my abs lately because that's where I want to lose the weight and I've noticed a huge difference. I don't think I'm going to post pictures right now today because it's just been one of those days. I'm just hoping to get this up. Um, and yeah, I will say I feel good physically. However, my diet hasn't been great. But you know what? It's holidays. You know, I'm not going to stress out about my diet. I'm already stressing because I'm not sleeping at all. Like, you know, they say things to, like, have the perfectly balanced body and feel good is sleep was one, which I'm not getting. So diet, I still eat healthy, but I've definitely been cheating a little bit more. It's the holidays. You know, I'm going to enjoy them. And then exercise. So I've got one out of the three, like going really well and it's like kind of my vent time alone I can unwind stress reliever type thing um so yeah however hormonally this is why I have bangs now now I like them don't get me wrong I've had bangs in the past but I'm losing my hair like crazy um John David is now four months old and I think that's just kind of the time that things you start to notice things more you know you're kind of um getting hopefully more into a rhythm of life and things but like <laughs> I have like patches of my hair missing just from like you know hormones again um I like shed crazy 
Um, so needless to say, I have bangs. I usually get them in the winter anyway, but this year they're just really thick and hopefully will kind of cover up what I have going on. Anyways, I have a new obsession with Amazon. I accidentally did, I did sign up for the 30 day free trial and then it automatically charged me, which I didn't really realize how that worked. Anyways, now I'm loving it, so I'm doing a ton of Christmas shopping on Amazon Prime. I wonder why they do that, huh? Um, but yeah, I got a new camera holder, or phone holder for my camera. As you can tell right now, I'm not holding my phone, so that's really exciting. It wasn't that expensive. I have like the little bendy legs, so I can use it more. Um, today, I plan on going downstairs, and we've been working on our basement, so I'm going to clean up the area so I can do more DIYs for you guys, and get... Um, some more content up like I said I apologize that I haven't been doing as well lately but yeah that's what's going on with that I also went on a new website that I found through um, do it on a dime I follow her and she holler h-o-l-l-a-r and I found some really cool stuff on there I haven't put in an order yet but I think I'm going to um, and I want to get some more vitamins and things because the kids, like every kid that I see has been sick and my kids of course are playing with those kids. So I'm going to be ordering some vitamins and things like that and I actually think I'm going to get my vitamins through Amway. It's all organic. Um, they, all their products are derived from the organic farms that they own so that's really cool. Um, and I actually am an Amway distributor. I have kept my, I don't practice it but I have still my membership so I'll do that I gotta order those soon but this week Thursday we're gonna finish up some Christmas shopping next week I'll get hopefully no one gets sick by next week get the vitamins and things like that and probably finish stuff up so I want to show you my Dollar Tree haul real quick and then I'm off for the rest of the day doing stuff around the house so I will show you in future videos some of the toddler crafts that I'm doing to give for Christmas gifts. I've got some really awesome ones that don't look like a toddler did them, if that makes sense. But it has to do with my toddler or my kids. So um, that's exciting to show you guys. So like this video if you guys want to see more updates and things like that. Um, subscribe to my channel below um, and I will get better about putting content up. Sorry guys, but I will talk to you all soon. Um, happy holidays. We just got some snow today. I don't know if you can see outside. Probably not with the glare. But we got some snow today, so it's feeling very December-like. And I will talk to you all soon. Thanks guys. Bye. Alright guys, so this is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I've gotten a lot of stuff for the holidays. A lot of stuff around the house. So I'm just going to go through them real quick and what I've used them for. So this, I saw, I think I saw this on Do It On A Dime, and um, I follow her. It's a calendar, and they have really cool, like, sayings and stuff. And what I'm going to do is, you know, cut, cut them out from the month it is, and I'll put them on canvas or something like that. So I'll make some nice wall hangs for people, and this only costs a dollar. So, and then the canvases, you can get them at the Dollar Tree, but I think I got, like, a 10-pack at Michael's for less than $10, so that was really nice. Um, this is actually, I found this again, saw this on Do It On Dime, but they haven't had them. And you don't use it as a hamper, you use it for beach toys, which is so awesome because the sand goes right through because this is mesh and it stands up on its own. And what I'd gotten last um, summer was one that didn't have the like harder stand up edges, I guess you'd call them. <laughs> um, so they finally had this, so I grabbed it while I saw it, um, so I have this for next summer. I got some pot holders. I'm gonna do a craft with my sons, um, a, like giving a helping hand in the kitchen craft, and I will post that. So these were two for a dollar, which is awesome because there's like six gifts right there. Um, I found a little makeup brush, which is for like eyeliner. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I just saw this, and I have one like this. It's the applicator's right in it, but this is like the color white. A little focus, but um. So I wanted to try that out a little bit. They had wrapping paper at the dollar store, and they had a Toy Story, which my son's obsessed with, and they also had Winnie the Pooh, so they also grabbed that one. But this, like, roll, I don't know if you can tell, but it's super long, so it's really cool. And then I got some, like, I just like the reindeer. Um, my husband got for me an iPad 4 refurbished for Christmas so I can work um, 
on that at work. So I got the screen protector, so hopefully that'll work pretty good. Um, I got some tape for wrapping gifts. And I also wrap with packing paper. I bought a thing of packing paper also at the dollar store. So I got some thicker packing tape, I guess. And uh, you can always use that, I guess, right? I need some light bulbs for downstairs. I haven't got light bulbs from the dollar store, so I got two kinds. I know these are like for outdoors. Well, it says indoor. So um, hopefully where I'm going to be taping more often, these will be nice and bright. So we'll try them out. We'll see how they work. Um, I got a bunch of these, so I only just showed you one, but I got a bunch of these. They're plastic, they're big ornaments, and I'm going to do a craft with these, and um, I did partially do part of the craft just to show you guys. I'll do a whole vlog on that, but this is a picture of my son's. Here comes one of the crazy men. And then this is another thing. Here, you this one. Holly Joseph. Did you already do that one? Mama. Yeah, you did a good job, huh? Yes. So it comes um, with fabric markers inside and then you just color it and then we'll put like canned applesauce that I made in there for whoever we're giving it to. I got some ribbon from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, um, to put probably around, get off my finger, around these to decorate, decorate these and make them look a little bit nicer or um, so they can hang them. Eat this. Did you find the Toy Story wrapping paper? Nice. I like it. Yeah, you love it, don't you? Oh. Uh, mm. I like it. Oh, Daddy's sleeping, yes. Um, so a couple things for around the house. I actually got this for his stocking. I don't want him to see that, but it's kind of cute. It's nice back. This, I'm going to show him it now. It's a new toothbrush. Luckily, a new toothbrush. Hey. You want that? Yay. Um, I got some new soap to <coughs> refill. Bless you. Refill our soap dispensers. Oh. And they had this Dad, also. Dad, um, my hands have been super dry this year, so I got some of this. Jergens. These have already been Dad, opened. Dad. I didn't eat them. <laughs> I cooked with them. I made a recipe with Twix and... Dad, and milk. Chocolate chip cookies. And so milk. that's what those and were milk. used for. And this is milk. Oh yeah. And this, is milk. So this is actually fake snow to and put milk. in the bottom it's of these milk. again to decorate. I need milk. I got some of these, like I said. Um, I was gonna make wreaths. Now that it's snowed outside, I don't know how ambitious I'm gonna be to go collect things. But these are also to put in the wreaths. And from the dollar store, I did get a wreath. Um, like how you make wreaths, the base of it, but they only had one, so we'll see if that happens. I'll do a vlog on that if we do it. And then I just got two extra organizing thing um, pockets for notebooks because I'm trying to get more organized with bills and things like that. So, yeah, that is my Dollar Tree haul over the last couple of days. Um, yeah. So if you guys like this video, like the hauls, put a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or want to see specifically some of the crafts that I'm going to do with these things, um, just comment below and I'll talk to you soon. Happy crafting for the holidays. Good luck with the toddlers. Alright, so I'm going to be honest, this craft was a little messier than I thought it was going to be, but it was still fun and they came out pretty cute. So I painted my son's hand with fabric paint and then we're going to press the print onto the pot holder, kind of at an angle or so there's room to write still on the pot holder. Because then I also put um, his name, the date, and I wrote, a, I guess it's a quote, a helping hand. So it's kind of cute. Um, I don't know, I think that people will enjoy them even if they don't actually use them, if they just have them as a reminder. It's a cute little craft to do with them. The paint didn't come off great. We took a tub after and still on some parts it stayed for a day or two just because I didn't want to like scrub really hard on him. Um, but um, overall it came out cute. It was just a little messier than I thought it was going to be.
All right, so here we're gonna make bird feeders. Um, so of course you've all seen using the toilet paper holders uh, and peanut butter and bird seed, but instead of using peanut butter, we're gonna use honey. Um, I don't know, I felt like it might stick a little bit better and maybe preserve a little bit better until Christmas. I think it's only about two weeks away from here, but anyways. Um, it was a very messy project again, but I don't think anything clean is clean with a toddler. <laughs> but it's really good. Um, you can see with the birds you've been playing in it, that's good for texture. And then also the painting um, is just good for their using utensils and things like that. So it's just about making a more independent same thing and practice some skills that they'll have fun doing. And again, the older people love <laughs> love their birds, so this will be a fun one. So for this craft, I used these ornaments, a funnel, some snow, ribbon, scissors, some pictures. You can kind of do this as a Christmas card um, remake with other people's Christmas cards, engagement pictures, um, anything, any kind of picture. And then use the packing tape as like a laminate. Um, that's kind of one I had already worked on. So I cut the picture to size. I had these ones already printed to size. And then I put the packing tape, tape over it and kind of um, turn it into a cylinder to kind of fit down into the ornament. And now I'm just adding the snow with the funnel. Um, these are really great because they don't just have to be your kids or your family members. You can make it from other people with their Christmas cards they give you that year. Or as a you know first year being married, you put some wedding pictures in it or whatever. Um, and then you just put the top on once you get the snow in. And then I added ribbon to the top because there was no, like there was the circle on top, but nothing cute or ornamental about the top. So I just wanted to make a pretty little bow out of some Dollar Tree ribbon. And those ornaments are plastic. I got at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, so I just dressed it up just a little bit. And that was the birth announcement for John David. He's in the back of the tractor, <laughs> the wagon, I guess. And Lee is driving the tractor. So there you go.